Hey guys, Chip here, and I want to show you a quick tip for all of you QuickShot users. Sometimes you may encounter this issue. Let me show you what it is. Let's, looking at this MacBook, let's say we want to add a shot, and here's our shot, and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, and we have 100 frames, and I'll select this, and I'm going to rotate it around, move it over to here a little bit, and I'll hold the control key down and hit out, and that sets the keyframe for the in and the out. If I hit the space bar and play, look what happens. I go the opposite direction. That's because we're using quaterions for creating the animation path. So let me show you how you can fix this if you see this happening in one of your quick shot camera shots. So I'll go back to the beginning here, go to my in frame, and I'll select the camera. And I'll go down here to object constraint properties. And I'm going to add a track to constraint. And in this case, I'm going to crack track to the uh, actual the lid. That was a, the top piece. And once I set that up, I really want to make sure I engage the minus Z and the up is Y. And now we've, we're tracking directly to the lid. And so when I've done this, I may want to go ahead and just move it a little bit and readjust my animation in. Then if I hit the space bar, you'll see that I'm actually moving in the right direction and I don't need to go around the other way. Now, this can also work even better if you just use a empty. And let me show you that. Shift A, I'll just grab an empty, something like a sphere. I'm gonna move it like somewhere in the middle of where I want this to be. Like, let's go right about there. And then I'm gonna go back over into my camera and the target now is gonna be this empty. And now I can move this empty around and it'll affect the targeting as you can tell. So I'll leave that there and I'll mark that as my in, and then I'll kind of go over here and mark it as my out, and then play, and you see that it works quite nicely. So I hope this little tip will help some of you that are using QuickShot that may be running into some issues with regard to managing your camera movements. Thanks for watching, see you online.